Welcome everybody to this last session of the PhD conference today. Um, it's, a, it's both a pleasure and an honor for me to be appearing before you briefly now. It's a pleasure because of the vigor and variety of the presentations that have been made in the session today. It makes me think back to 1963 when I entered the field and uh, on one occasion walked across the street with Jim Halloran and Dennis McQuayle and said to them, we better be very careful, otherwise we're in danger of wiping out the field. <laughs> <laughs> but since that time, obviously, the field has mushroomed and flowered magnificently. Uh, more scholars attending to it, more centers set up to conduct research and teaching in it, like the very good Institute of Communication Studies here, uh, more uh, empirical research projects and findings being um, undertaken and published, more theoretical perspectives on the field um, that uh, sometimes harmonize with each other and sometimes clash uh, endlessly. Um, it, it's also an honor to be able to introduce um, Professor Zygmunt Bauman to give the keynote speech, which I assure you will be a treat. Um, you, many of you probably know of Zygmunt's many writings and accomplishments in the fields of communication, cultural, and sociological studies. Um, what you may not know is that he's an outstanding photographer. Um, he's a great fan of Don Quixote, and he uh, interacts uh, with great enjoyment with the Polish community in Leeds. So much for Zygmunt as the man. As a scholar, of course, he's a towering figure, known throughout the world and continually producing provocative and interesting works that many of us uh, want to absorb and master and discuss. So without more ado, let me invite Zygmunt Bauman to address you. <laughs> 